everyone and welcome to the brand new 911. Now, as you can see, I'm driving around in the game, but it's also a brand new 911 in real life. Like, I mean, this car was just only recently dropped to the public. All the reviews started coming out for it and everything. And it's, uh, it's a very, very beautiful car. I really, really like the new 911. I like the way it's all gone nice and futuristic with the rear lights and the headlights with the LEDs and everything. I really, really like the way this looks. I'm happy that they managed to change the design ever so subtly, but like, it's still really really nice looking um, and it keeps the same old 911 shape the base spec 911s now come with a turbo uh, with a turbocharged engine and that is very very interesting so um, now again in games it's not gonna be that different but in real life maybe some people will end up noticing especially previous 911 owners or people that drive 911s on the regular they, they notice the difference between the NAs and the turbocharged ones but obviously in game there's not gonna be that much of a difference however it, I'm here to see what the new engine is like what what sort of power can this put down once it's upgraded? Uh, once I put like better wheels, better tires, all that sort of stuff. Um, racing suspension. I want to see what this car can actually do in the game once it's upgraded. And what sort of upgrades can we actually do to it? Because I don't really know exactly. If it's just the fours, the parts, that's just boring. Yeah, like why would I want to do that? Why would I want to ruin that that whole aesthetic of the the 911 with fours, the fours, the parts? I, I think that'll just completely ruin the whole the whole sort of purpose of this car. So we get a 4 liter flat 6, which I'm pretty sure is from the old 997. We get 3.8 flat, si flat 6 twin turbo. What's this from? What engine is this from now? Makes 691 horsepower. Is this a GT2 RS engine? Maybe. I don't even know. And then we obviously we have the 918 engine. I'm going to keep the standard engine that's in it now. 444 horsepower is what we have here. It is, like I said, already turbocharged. It is obviously rear-wheel drive. I'm going to keep it rear-wheel drive. It is slightly heavy, but it is rear weight biased, I guess. Um, as you can see, front end is 45% of the weight, and then rear end is um, is uh, 55. Also, the displacement is only a 2.9 liter, but it is, like I said, turbocharged. So, smaller engine uh, with a turbo means it'll make more power than the previous generation 911s, which is uh, kind of interesting. So I'm gonna go with some race tires on this thing, of course. Get this thing to um, to handle a little bit better. As for our tire uh, width, I'll go as wide as possible since we're gonna be squeezing out a little bit more power out of this thing. Um, I mean, we could pretty much do a whole drift build on this thing, but I don't really want to at the moment. I, I kind of want to just sort of upgrade this a little bit uh, and then see what we can um, what we can do to this thing. So I'm gonna make everything so it's fully customizable, of course. Same with our suspension and our brakes. Uh, our brakes are already on sports spec, so yeah, we can definitely make this thing a drift build if I really, really wanted to. But I'm not going to do that. This time, just got to put race parts on it and let's see what it drives like. Again, it's not really... It's not going to be a really, really fast car because I'm going to keep, like I said, the standard engine that's in it now. But, I mean, pretty much all the bits and pieces I'm going to end up putting on this thing is going to make it fairly quick. Right now, its stats are almost... Its stats are actually really, really good. 9.1, 9.37, 0.94 acceleration, obviously, because it's rear-wheel drive. Um, if this thing would have been all-wheel drive, I think this could get some serious power. 758 horsepower out of this out of this engine. We ended up getting it to a 4-liter displacement as well. Now. So, 778 horsepower squeezed out of this turbo engine. And then, uh, obviously, the weight went down to 1,208 kilos. Very, very interesting car, this. Very interesting. Those are some serious improvements, I'm not gonna lie. Lateral Gs obviously have improved with the suspension and the tires. Interesting, I kinda wanna drive this thing. I wanna hear what it sounds like as well now that it's a little bit more enhanced, I guess, to the way it was before. What's the, what's the top speed of this thing? 245 miles per hour. That is very, very interesting. Seven years, everything else. I'm gonna sort of keep the way it is for the moment. I'm gonna change the diff actually a little bit, bring down a little bit lower. Here. Obviously, we're not going to end up sliding this thing too much, but we are going to be driving it normally. Anyway, let's see. What sort of uh, what sort of performance can we get on this out of this thing? Obviously, we're in dirt, so we will end up spinning its wheels very, very easy. But I mean, 700 horsepower is not going to be. I like the way the sounds. I like the new dials as well. I like the way they kept the the center dial an analog. 
I love that. That looks so good. And then obviously the the usual five dials, which is what Porsche are used to. The other four dials surrounding the middle one, but I like the way they kept the the, the, the center one as an analog. This is fast. This is a proper fast car. I like this. This is nice to drive. It does still have like a good bit of grip as well. Yeah, this is this is kind of nice to drive. I think it'll be very very good as um, as like a proper race build though. But I'll have to put like the Forza parts on it to be able to get the aero better and get lighter wheels and all that sort of stuff and actually put a, a proper suspension setup on it because right now it's just sort of stiffer and lower with the with the race parts. I mean, obviously it, it handles a lot better than when it was stock, but this thing stays over 200 miles per hour with ease. I have like no issue taking corners at over 200 miles per hour. Again, these are in really, really fast corners, but still, it's a serious car. I think if I was going to sort of build this for for racing, again, like I said, Forza parts, yeah, look at that. I was trying to take that corner to see as, uh, how fast I could take that corner out, but obviously I had to go a lot slower there. I think for for smaller corners, like for for tighter corners and and whatnot, I don't think I'll be able to keep this as a as a rear wheel drive. As you can see, it's very very tail happy. I mean, we are sending 750 horsepower, I think. Is it 750? Either way, over 700 horsepower, we're sending it just to the rear wheels. Even though this is rear weight biased, because the engine is over the rear wheels, it does have a little bit more grip than a car that would be front engine rear wheel drive. Um, but obviously... But still, that 700 horsepower over the rear wheels is just not fun for those tires. Now the next car is also another Porsche, but this time it's a 968 Turbo S. This is the second car that we got this week. Uh, with the season change and this might be a very interesting car. I never really cared for the 968 I never really cared for this car. I really never did. It's just it's a very very weird time in Porsche's history where the 968 The 968 the the, the 928 I'm pretty sure like all these all these Porsches that weren't the 911 just weren't that much of an interest to me in my opinion but this is kind of an interesting one. I, I don't think I've ever seen the turbo before. Um, and this one's very interesting. It sounds sounds weird. It sounds like a four cylinder. Now with the list of things, we have a lot more engine swaps that we can do to this thing. So we got a 3.2 inline six, 6.2 V8, RB. We have the quad rotor racing engine. That's very interesting. And then we have the um, the engine from the 918. Now, again, the stock engine, it's a 3 liter, 305 horsepower, turbo. How fast would this thing be if I put the, the 918 engine in it? That is my question here, because it, it's, it's a fairly light car by the looks of things. Once I get through to it, it'll be even lighter, but like, I kind of want to see. I kind of want to see, especially since we, we twin turbo this thing. We can make it all-wheel drive if I really, really wanted to. I mean, the acceleration and all that is going to be very, very quick. So I'm kind of tempted to do so. Again, for our parts, it's only the Forza bits of... P I actually kind of like that, the removal of the wing. It makes it look a little bit more interesting. But it looks like it brings our handling up a lot. Even though that rear wing should technically add a lot more downforce than this little lip. But by the looks of things, it doesn't. And I just pretty much buy race spec everything. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. I want to see how fast we can get this thing to be because... I didn't realize that we could put 918 engine in this thing, um, and I don't really know why, because for a lot of the vehicles, especially a lot of the Porsches in this game, you can't actually put the uh, the 918 engine in it, so I don't really know why I expected something different, but it's uh, it's kind of interesting. I know for a fact that this thing will make 1,400 horsepower, I don't know if it'll be any faster than like anything else, because like, I feel like right now the top speed is limited by the looks of things at 9.1, so this may be limited now. By the shape that it's at, but I feel like the shape should be kind of decent for this thing. So 1,400 horsepower, 1,223 kilos. It's a fairly quick car. 1.9 Gs though, compared to the newer 911 that was doing like 2.2 or something like that. Very interesting. Uh, 245 miles per hour. So this is very, very similar to the new 911. 
However, if you do go for top speed, I think by the looks of things, this is limited to 269. We can't really go a lot faster than that. As much as I really want to mess around with my gear ratios, around 269, 270 is where this ends. So if I do this and change it to speed, it should go just a little bit past 270. Am I right? Yep, 271. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's very, very interesting car. I want to see if I can do 271 though with it. Like how fast would it actually reach the top speed? I like this. It's, I mean, I have no interest in it, but I like... Oh my. Okay, okay. Well, I don't know if I've changed the brakes or not. Either way, the brakes are terrible. It revs really high. It's really, really fast. Oh my god. I didn't expect this to just start pulling so hard. Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, we're taking this on the highway. Completely different build to the 911 that we messed around with, but Jesus! It sounds weird. That rear window was iconic on these cars though. The rear curving glass. That's the one thing I do remember about these uh, older Porsches. It pulls. It pulls really hard. I definitely didn't expect that at all from this thing. I did expect it to accelerate quickly, but... It's literally the shape of the car that's preventing me from going faster. That's a disappointment because I thought that this thing would be an absolute monster with the 918 engine. I mean, acceleration wise, it's very, very quick. I think it's pretty much the same as, or well, not the same, but it's very, very similar to the, um, to the 959. The 959, you can also put a, uh, the engine from the 918 in it and do the exact same setup as this thing. And that thing is like one of the fastest accelerating cars in the game. Well, it was back in Horizon 3, I remember that correctly. Oh god, this doesn't turn. But yeah, it's uh, it's really, really fast. I think overall, if I, it, it just doesn't slow down though. I can't brake with it. it. Just does not slow down. Now this, again, is a Porsche that is not rear engine, as you can see. It obviously has a massive, massive bonnet and a tiny rear end. So this isn't really a Porsche with a rear engine. So this is a front engine rear wheel drive car. That's why we pretty much had all those options for engine swaps, is because we can fit them on the front of this thing. Whereas the 911, we can't. The 911 is pretty much like forced to have the flat engines, pretty much the flat sixes. Um, to put those in it because obviously they have to go at the rear end but I think also because a lot of people may want to get this thing to be a drift build so I may do a drift build on this car I may do it I want to have a look and see if this thing would be good for for drifting but right now I wanted to see if this was anywhere close to the 959 and it's pretty damn close it's a fast car it's literally just being slowed down by its by its shape because by the looks of things it just keeps wanting to oh, it's gone. I can't turn at that speed. It, it just keeps wanting to accelerate faster and faster and faster and it's just shape of it. It's just like slowing it down in the air. That's it. But with that said, I think I'm going to end today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video of me having a look at these two new cars obviously that we have added into the game. This 968 and the brand new 911. Um, if you guys want to see any more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And uh, I really do hope to see you guys again on the channel in the near future. But for now, that's pretty much it. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.